Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a wise old man named Masterly. Masterly was renowned for his deep wisdom and unshakable inner peace. People came from far and wide seeking his guidance on life's most profound questions. One sunny morning, a troubled young woman named May approached Masterly, tears filled her eyes, and her voice quivered as she spoke, Masterly, I'm drowning in a sea of toxic people. They drain my energy and fill my heart with negativity. How can I find peace amidst this storm? Masterly nodded, his eyes twinkling with compassion. Ah, May, you are like a young bamboo tree. Do you know why bamboo is revered in the art of Zen? May shook her head, eager to learn from the old sage. Bamboo, Masterly began, is strong, yet flexible. It sways with the wind but does not break. It teaches us a valuable lesson on dealing with toxic people. Intrigued, May asked, but how, Master Lee? Listen closely, he replied. The first step in dealing with toxic people is to be like bamboo, strong but flexible. When you encounter toxicity, do not let it break your spirit. Instead, let it flow around you like the wind through bamboo leaves. Do not absorb their negativity, let it pass through you. May contemplated this wisdom. But what if the toxicity becomes unbearable? Master Lee smiled gently. That brings me to the second lesson. Just as bamboo needs nourishment to grow strong, so do you. Surround yourself with positivity and nurturing relationships. Cultivate your inner strength through meditation and self-reflection. May nodded, realizing that building inner strength would help her withstand the storms of toxicity. Masterly continued, now, the third lesson. Imagine a bamboo forest. Each bamboo stalk stands tall, but they support each other. When one bamboo is swayed by a strong wind, others lend their strength to keep it upright. Similarly, seek support from those who uplift you when you face toxic individuals. May understood the importance of seeking allies who could provide emotional support during difficult times. As days turned into weeks, May began to apply Master Lee's teachings. She remained resilient like bamboo when faced with negativity. She nurtured her inner strength through daily meditation and surrounded herself with positive influences. Most importantly, she reached out to friends and family who provided unwavering support. One day, while May was practicing her newfound wisdom, a particularly toxic person named Wei confronted her. Wei was known for spreading gossip and sowing discord in the village. Wei's harsh words cut through the air like a sharp blade, attempting to pierce Mei's serene demeanor. But Mei remained calm, her heart echoing Master Li's teachings. She did not engage in a battle of words. Instead, she simply smiled and said, Wei, I hope your day gets better. This response baffled Wei, who had expected Mei to react with anger. May's unshakable composure left Wei without a target for his toxicity, and he eventually moved on. Over time, May's transformation became an inspiration to others in the village. They marveled at her ability to remain serene in the face of adversity. Soon, May's inner peace became a shield, deflecting the toxic arrows of those who sought to disturb her tranquility. One day, as Master Li and May sat under the shade of a mighty bamboo tree, May expressed her gratitude. Master Li, your teachings have not only helped me but have also touched the lives of many in our village. Master Li nodded, his eyes twinkling once more. Remember, May, that the true power of wisdom lies not in hoarding it but in sharing it with others. Just as the bamboo forest supports each stalk, your wisdom can support and inspire those around you. As the years passed, May's village became a haven of peace and positivity, all thanks to the wisdom of the bamboo whisperer, Masterly, and the resilient spirit of May. And in every bamboo stalk that swayed with grace, they found a reminder of how to deal with toxic people, to be strong yet flexible, to nourish their inner strength, and to seek the support of those who uplifted their spirits. In this way, they continued to grow together like a thriving bamboo forest, unbroken by the storms of toxicity.